back on the morning brew with friends, and I have so many people from Tractor Brewing here. Who's making the beer? Uh, they're making the beer right now. There, there's people, you got they're, people to do that? They're the only folks we couldn't bring. All right. So we got Carlos the Small, we yes. got Nicole, <laughs> we got Lauren, and then we got Carlos the Tall. I love this. Hey, Dan, Dinning, this is how we're going to have to, like, figure out who's who when they say Dan around here. I, I'm now dubbing you Dan the Tall. Yes. Right? You've been wanting yeah. that. And it, the funny part is he's really not that tall. <laughs> I'm, just, Don't make come out there. I'm just that small, I think is what it really is. But I love this. This is like something, you were telling me about this the other night when I was over at Tractor. This is cool because you guys, you may all work together, but you all kind of have like second jobs and other things that you do on the side. You know, like Lauren, you're part of Blackout. And, and Nicole, you have your thing too that remind me what it is. Uh, yeah, I kind of run the Beer for a Better Berkey The Beer program. for a Better Berkey program. Yeah. And the whole whole thing with it was like everybody kind of came together from Tractor to make the Beer for Better Berkey a thing. Absolutely. Did you just like say, hey, co-workers, help me out here, or how did that happen? Uh, yeah, um, the uh, one of the owners, Sky, she really kind of was the brainchild of, of the program itself, and, and I kind of facilitate it with the help of everybody else around me. Very cool. And you said, I, I work with a bunch of people with a lot of talent in order to make this happen? Yeah. That's pretty cool. So what is Beer for a Better Berkey? Triple B. So it's a program um, that benefits four nonprofits within our community, and um, throughout the year um, they get various uh, benefits. We do a, a once a month, excuse me, a once a month uh, event where proceeds of sales that day go to those nonprofits. Very cool. Basically. Very and, cool. Uh, yeah, so we're throwing the B bu -bu 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 bands <laughs> for the. And, and for Carlos, the you're one of the bu -bu 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 bands. Yeah. Yeah. I love and that. Youngsville, I just front the band, yeah. Excellent, Carlos the Tall. And did you? Did he dub you that? Did you dub yourself that? How did um, that? It was just like a joke that came out because. They did, I didn't know what to call myself solo. I was like, why does it be Carlos the Tall? And I was like, I guess it's okay. It wasn't really like that well thought out. or just, okay. And then the funny thing is that you become Carlos the Tall, and then people imagine this giant, you know, and it's like, no, I'm, I'm tall-ish, but for Carlos, I'm pretty tall, I guess. Yes. Right. You, Carlos, are you Carlos the Small now? I'm, I'm more, more than happy to be Carlos the Small. Exactly. Just around Tractor, though. Don't see me in Albuquerque and call me Carlos the Small. <laughs> We don't know what will happen. I will, <laughs> like, I'll see you downtown. See <laughs> yeah. you some other place and be like, hey, Carlos the Small. Yeah, no, Dan, don't do it. Right, don't right. Do it, and Lauren, how's Blackout? Oh, it's great. Good. Yeah. You guys are doing that. <laughs> cool. It's totally great. Are you guys having, like, you guys are doing all kinds of crazy stuff, right? Yeah, I mean, you guys we, have shows, like, every week uh, or every, like, all the time. I wish. No, uh, the, yeah, no, Blackout, we do, we just did 48 hour film fest. And how much work are those things? Uh, not just blackout, but everybody that participates in that doesn't sleep for 48 hours. <laughs> That's pretty much. I did one years ago. And yeah. It's horrible when you're doing it, and then awesome when you're and done. Then you're right? so happy. Right? Yeah. Because you end up with a little movie. It's like three minutes. Which theme did they give you this year? Uh, we got fish out of water. And what did you do with that? We made a guy a fish suit. In 48 hours, you like made a fish suit. Yeah, oh, it came amazing. out really cute. That's really cool. Yeah. That, so what's what's Blackout Theater doing for the the Triple B? Yeah, so we're one of the nonprofits. So, oh, excellent. So yeah, for Tractor, the the four nonprofits that's here, this year are Blackout Theater, Animal Humane. Health Action New Mexico and Harwood Arts. And Carlos the Small. And and Carlos. <laughs> and yeah, and so each of the bands is paired up with an organization. So the other bands, so we've got Youngsville, Red Light Cameras, Mondo Vibrations, and um, American Slang. I have to count on my got fingers. It. I'm like, don't forget on the TV show. Which, which one is which, and how they yeah. all how they all fit in? Very yeah. cool. So how did you guys recruit the bands? How did that come to be? We were gonna do like a battle of the bands originally, honestly, uh, and kind of and put it out to bands, and bands were just kind of like, we just want to play. We don't necessarily want to battle. Like, yeah, nobody <laughs> wants to be better than anybody else, and we're like, right. well, what about a fundraiser? Because we have this program, and all the bands that are are listed responded really like welcoming to that idea so cool. it became a fundraiser very quickly and carlos at all you guys are playing out of your own pocket right i mean this is not something that you guys are getting paid for this is not no, like... we're getting paid for it yeah okay <laughs> okay the bands are getting paid a small amount a small they're, amount. Get, okay. they're getting paid less than they normally do though i think okay. that's a point to make like everybody right. was down for the cause so right. there's more money to throw out all the organizations yeah because originally we were, it was as the battle of the bands you were envisioning like you know we'd have a, a like a, a lower uh pay rate for it, but then whoever won would win like a, a grand prize, but instead of that right. grand prize, we're just donating that grand prize to one of the 
you know, nonprofits. So Very which is cool. five hundred dollars. We felt that's, much that's better real money. That, dude. Yeah. Yeah, and what what could something like you know you guys at Black Eye do with five hundred dollars? Yeah, I mean we have an education program called Wrinkle Writing. So throughout the school year, uh, Blackout members will go in and spend time in APS classrooms, building a play throughout the school year with the kids, and then they perform it at the end of the year. Or, I mean, it could go towards one of our productions. It could go uh, to a taco party. No, we don't spend money <laughs> on taco parties. But, yeah, yeah, the education program is a large chunk of our budget, for sure. Very cool. And it, but how did you come to choosing these specific charities? What, oh. was, it, what was it about them? Are they... Partly because you knew them, or partly because you just like what they're doing. What was sure, it? we did. A, we we actually did a proposal process um, for mm. various nonprofits, and we're actually coming on this new year. Um, so we just got some new proposals in um, for the next year of funding. Um, but we ended up choosing these um, these four because they they were varied. They fit together um, kind of as a whole, and. Um, you know, they just sang well in their proposals, so. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. So is this the kind of thing that if you do this again next year, you're going to be looking for more nonprofits yeah, to reach out to? absolutely. So uh, we, the new funding year will start in October, so we'll have another set of brand, four brand new nonprofits that we will be um, supporting this coming year. Cool. Yeah. Have you picked those yet, or are you hoping that people reach out? We are in process right now. Yeah, we cool. actually, um, a lot of nonprofits were under the wire, and they had to submit their proposals on Friday. Uh, this past Friday, uh, cool. Blackout being one of them. So yeah, yeah. we Very looked cool. out last year. We were like, oh, we're, this is a new program. Nobody knows it yet. We we're like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're gonna get right in on this so, before anyone else finds yeah. out. Yeah, hopefully this um, this coming year will be more competitive and and be a lot of fun. That's awesome. Well, and Carlos Tatal is going to play for us here. Yeah. And before we forget, the, the show is actually the 15th, is that the right? The 15th of August. And it, at which tractor? It's at Tractor Wells Park. The That's gates really cool. Open at four. And yeah, this and we're gonna have a performance. I love it when you bring on these bands. This is so much fun it's when right. you bring on folks. You know, he's wow. breaking our microphones already things. over there. It's all right. And we got plenty of them. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. But there it is. What song are you gonna play, or do you know yet? Um, I think I will play. It's called uh, Two Step to Johnny Cash. Excellent. I understand that? My pick in my mouth. Yeah, that song is called Two Step to Johnny Cash. <laughs> Would you think I'm country if I didn't drive a truck? Would you only like me if I wore a hat and such? I'd like to two step to Johnny Cash again, me if I steal a kiss or just I want to stay in your mind. Hope that you don't mind. Slide guitar. Would you only like me if I draw and twang my words? I like to two step to Johnny Cash to give me if I still kiss. I just I wanna stay in your mind. I hope that you don't mind that I was born in the city. The only pools that I ride are operated by a coin. <laughs> Drive a truck. Would you only like me if I wore a hat and such? You bet I'll do step to Johnny Cash and give me if I steal a kiss like us. I wanna stay in your mind. Hope that you don't mind. That my boots are in cowboy. When the holes in my jeans are by design. We were trying to clap along with you, but I got no rhythm and I lost it. Yeah. I, I ruined it for everybody. <laughs> we'll be back in a couple of seconds with the morning brew.